are doing here at the airport is insane. Pinch me, I'm dreaming. You're looking at a dude that just grew up rich from Missouri and somehow throughout the years became obsessed with Ford Explorers. And we find ourselves in the position to where we've now been invited by Ford Motor Company themselves to come check out the 2025 Explorer. We could never have dreamt of anything as cool as this. As always, behind the camera, Brad Pack Media. And we are on our way to Detroit to Motor City to check out the brand new Explorer. And we should be one of the first ones coming out with content on the new Explorer, which is also wild because Bradley and myself spent a lot of our time growing up watching other people on the internet, YouTube, doing these kind of car reveals or being invited to these things. So it's wild seeing that it's our turn. Super excited. This is our first flight. Just got to the airport, got checked in, and we are about to board our flight. Detroit airport's much different than the Kansas City airport. As you can tell, not near as many people as in here as there were back home, but I'm not mad about it. What's crazy about like this experience is that doing stuff like this is what people dream about doing. The fact that we just hopped on a plane in Kansas City, now we're in Detroit, just to be doing automotive filming is one, absolutely wild. Two, there's gonna be people that I have met solely online here at the same hotel that Ford has also invited. And so this will be my first time and Bradley's first time meeting those people too, like Stuart Webb being the top one. That's the dude that put me on. Since 2020, I've been posting on the internet, praying about something like this. And I'm here to tell you that if you're just an average dude that just consistently stays posting something and is obsessed, even if it's a Ford Explorer, keep doing it because eventually this is what's gonna happen to your life. They're not lying. You see these stories on the internet all the time. It's not fake. This is our first night here. We're just gonna get to our hotel. Tomorrow is the actual look at the 2025 Explorer. We'll catch you back here then. Where's Stu? I don't know where Stu is. Stu! <laughs> so basically, we were at the downstairs lobby, supposed to be at the upstairs lobby, but this is the day that we actually are going to Ford headquarters to check out the 2025 Explorer. I believe they're gonna have an ST model there, so basically we're gonna be the first ones to get to see this dang thing, and it's going to be awesome. I found Stu. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yesterday, this was a solid Really? Yeah. All right. <laughs> it was pretty chilly last night, but I think it was quite that cold. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Happy all. Oh yeah. Happy all. All right. How are you doing? <coughs> I think so. What you might want to do? Oh, there you go. Looks like I can't even see where. There we go. You got it. One, two, three, two. Yes. Did you get the Ford logo up on yeah. the top too? Yeah. Nice. Perfect. Do you guys, anybody want me to get a picture of you guys like together or yeah. something standing in front? One, two, three. Yeah. 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 We have made it. This is like a dream come true, not only to me, but to these people that are behind Bradley. This is, you know, got Christian, got Kayla, got Jai, and these are all people that I have met, including Stuart. Stuart's basically the reason that I feel like we're all here. This man, selfless, puts everybody on to things like this, and we have made it here to the Ford headquarters where we are gonna go inside and check out the 2025 Explore. It is gonna be a refreshed model. I even think we're gonna be able to see an ST in here. So we're gonna do our best to get every bit of content that we possibly can. Shout out Stu, Christian, Kayla, Jai. Cannot believe that just via internet we have found ourselves here together at the Ford headquarters. Let's, uh, let's make our way in. And Tyler, we need to do a... Uh, uh a video together if that's cool that we can use talking yep. about the design. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, that's an odd door. 
are you? Good, how are you? Tyler. I L E E S. Got it. That's gotta be a process. You're all shut, guys. Yeah. See, I have no idea. Oh, thank you. This was a rug that was presented to Mr. Ford. This was all hand stitched thread by thread. No way. There's over like millions of threads in here. Really? All right. And you're gonna let us drive it today. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and we're gonna learn more. But I'm gonna start kind of roughly 35 years ago. 35 years ago when we planted a flag with the introduction of the Explorer. And this represented a, really a change in the way we think, the way we think about our cars, the way we think about our lives, about the road less traveled, about getting out there, getting out there to explore. And you know, from the beginning, Explorer is really captured this uh, pioneering spirit, the spirit that uh, is and always will be uniquely American. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Good morning. Come on into the interior space here. <laughs> All right, I like that reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, welcome, my name is Dustin Shedlarski, I'm the Chief Designer for the Interior. So I'm going to walk you through the interior space here. As you can see, it's, it's all new, it's a totally different layout from what we have today. Some of the big things you're going to notice right away is our standard 13-inch control screen, right front and center, and that pairs with our digital cluster. It starts to feed into our whole new digital experience that you'll learn about in the next stages here. Some other areas we want to talk through is just the general feel of the space. So. We associate Explore to the family environment, road trips, right? It's been a lot of time spent in there. And we want to really bring the home environment into the mobile space. So from a material standpoint and layout, what are some key things that you recognize at home? A big area are speakers. So in our Platinum, we have a 14 speaker B&O audio system. And what you can see here crossing the whole length of the instrument panel is a Hanna Fabric speaker bar. So the fabric with the speaker bar is standard on all series. So again, getting that sense of your home entertainment, you got the TV screen on the wall, sound bar below it, sitting on a nice console table here, which we also call our finger perch. This gives you some nice tactile place to locate your hand, you have a stable place to operate the screen. And we've added a lot of interesting texture details through a lot of functional parts. So areas through here that are even tying all the way through <laughs> some integrated badging and into the registers. It helps identify, these are key touch points, they're very tactile, and you'll see that place throughout with the knobs, control points, storage bin doors, just a way to add some extra detail and, and interest throughout the space. So to talk more about some materials, I'm going to pass you on to Michelle to demo, who's going to walk you through the series lineup. My name is Michelle Didimo and I'm the lead color material designer on Explore. So today I'm walking you through the color material narrative that inspired the new interior colors, our elevated textures, but also our soft materials. First, we wanted to really lean into the Explorer name. What is an Explorer? So we took inspiration from elements in nature and destination of the American landscape. So first we have Marble Canyon. Here we were really inspired um, by the terracotta hues and the rock formation, which made it into the interior as form of an accent stitch to really warm up our new colors. First we have ultra dark space gray, which would be our dark offering. And we have medium space gray, which would be our light offering, both again with a terracotta accent stitch and combined with our Eaton Melange um, fabric to really create that inviting soft atmosphere. We also have an all fabric seat, again the same Melange fabric combined with like a solid bolster and then the same accent stitching. For texture on our um, applique, we have a woven mesh, um, which is new on active and it's um, painted with a satin silver finish. Next, we have the element of fire. Here we brought um, this fiery hue, red accent stitching inside um, the ST line and also the ST. Starting with ST line, what's new? We have a performance fabric which is combined with um, black onyx active X vinyl and of course we have the red line stitching. The fabric has a channel emboss to really give you that tactile experience and also you can see you have that little fade that happens in the middle. For ST, again we have ActiveX Vinyl combined here with a perforated Miko. And what's really special, we wanted to walk away from our traditional badging that we usually have on seats. 
So what we did, we printed um, the scrim behind the perforation. I don't know if you can catch that, mm -hmm. but it's becoming, it's like that surprise element of Very your cool. logo. <laughs> I mean, there it is a little bit more obvious, but it's really that surprise element when you get in the vehicle. For exterior colors, we have a very rich palette, but you're probably familiar with most of these colors. We have carbonized gray, iconic silver, dark white metallic tricoat, a rapid red, which is a tinted clear, agate black metallic, and vapor blue, which is new for the Explorer, but it's not new for Ford. So I hand it back over to um, Dustin so he can show you the interior of the Mojave Dusk in the Platinum Ultimate. Alright, come on over. Let's uh, climb around, yeah. take a look. It is a pre-production unit, the Platinum Lux, with the Mojave Dusk interior. You should say, what was the inspiration <laughs> like taking from the previous generation and then coming into this one? They said, I mean, we could sit in it, right? Home. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. F one fifty seats. Yeah. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. Very much This yeah. looks yeah. nice. That's one thing that I noticed with ours. Nice. Yeah. yeah. The home environment, just knowing that this is such a family vehicle. Yeah. And they've changed that. Take that. Yeah. They did. Space with you when you're on the road trip for twelve hours a day. Yeah. Nice richness to it. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Uh, no pressure. My name is Alan Sun. I am the product manager for the Ford Digital Experience. Um, I'll be taking you through some of the different use cases today. So first, I want to start with the hardware. This is the most powerful system Ford has put into any vehicles, uh, starting with the Ford Explorer. By the numbers, this is five times more powerful uh, in terms of main computing capacity, and then 14 times more powerful in terms of graphics processing compared to our previous generations. You're going to see some of the experiences that that enables. Um, we brought our software team completely in house, so all of this is developed by Ford, and we have a single module powering both the 13.2 inch center screen as well as the digital instrument cluster. So, what does that mean for customers? Uh, on average, the US household now has 16 connected devices, and customers expect to have a seamless connected experience across their phones, their watches, their tablets, their laptops. With the all new Ford Digital Experience, we're now bringing that seamless experience into the vehicle. We're giving customers access to their favorite apps and services from Google, from Apple, from Amazon, either in a choice of their built-in native experience or through projection with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So let's take a look at some of the different things that we can enable here. Starting with profiles. So profiles um, allow the customer to save their preferences, their comfort features and their favorite apps and logins. This can be tied to a key fob or your phone is a key so that as soon as you're walking up to the vehicle, the vehicle can start customizing and tailoring its experience to you. Next, I'll go through some of the different things with the built-in Google Assistant. So here we have a setup with a paired phone as well as um, this person's already set up their, their profile, right? So, okay, Google, navigate to home. So here you can see we've saved uh, your safe locations and we have access to the maps in the, in the native system. Another Ford first is we give the user the option to show the maps in front of the driver. So if you use the steering wheel controls, you can now see um, maps rendered directly in front of the driver so that people no longer have to look down at the, the center screen. Oh, wow. They just have it right in front of them. The other thing I mentioned earlier was exclusive application. So this is a Bluetooth pair controller. Customers can bring this in and pair it. And um, I'll show you Asphalt Nitro 2. So here you can see we have a Bluetooth <laughs> paired controller. You can control this with either the touch screen or for games that support it with a controller. But here, I just want to show off the power of the, uh, the, the next generation system. You can see the graphics. And uh, they did some customization for us. And now we have a, a Mustang in the, in the game as well. Um, but here you can see, again, a parked experience, something to, to bring entertainment into the vehicle. You're gonna make us all late because we're sitting in the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Asshole. You, know? you, guys, you guys knocked it out, like, yeah. knocked it out of the park compared to, to what we're used to, like yeah. in the current explorers that we have. Yeah. This is nuts. Like this is this is mind blowing. It's like uh, we were listened to. Like there are things <laughs> that people talked about doing, and it's like yes. there now. <laughs> yes. That's the landscape great. orientation. Yes. Oh my goodness. That's a big one. <laughs> this looks so much. You know, not that don't take it as me complaining, but you know, this looks much more user friendly than than what we currently yeah. have. This is fantastic. 
it just doesn't seem like a little bit of a refresh like here's the new 25 explorer like you know enjoy it kind of has the same stuff as what you currently have and so this is showing us that like this is this is legit this is, yeah. there's a lot of stuff that's yeah. changing here for the better for all of us it's like how the f-150s were it was a big jump to the big 12 inch screen and and redoing everything so it's it's incredible this to see. definitely puts it up to par like my name is Becca Tallis. I lead sales for Blue Cruise and experiences like Blue Cruise and all this amazing content we're putting in the car is really to make customers time behind the wheel more enjoyable and with the click of a button the customer can take their hands off the wheels their foot off the pedal and enjoy the system doing some of the heavy lifting for them which is why we're really excited to bring Blue Cruise to Explorer customers for the very first time. We think it's a great match with the customer um, and they're going to really enjoy really great features that come with this Blue Cruise version like hands-free lane change with able ability to change lanes with just the tip of a blinker and in-lane repositioning which allows you a little more room in the lane when there's a car in the lane adjacent to you. It's meant to mimic the way we drive today and it's a really fun feature. This is nice. I'm a little nervous to try Blue Cruise for the first time. You can go ahead and hit the cruise control button. Okay, just try it, just let go. No, I'm supposed to, okay. <laughs> See the steering wheel moving. Don't touch it yet. Oh, wow. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. This is very nice. It's driving! Ooh! I can't wait to tell my mom about this. <laughs> My name is Kelly Clark. I'm the chief engineer on this product, on the Explorer. Uh, so I get to represent all the engineers, the designers, and the manufacturing professionals at Chicago that build this amazing product. But I'm also a customer. I love this product. Uh, I love being uh, a representative of the team that does and I love being a customer. So um, another thing is we give the choice for the engine. 2.3 is the base, 3 liter is the upgrade. A lot of our most favorite features that we hear from our customers and you guys, we've put in as a standard package. So I'm gonna give you some examples. I hope I don't forget any. So at Adaptive Cruise Control, I heard you talking about that with stop and go, standard. Blind spot detection, which I have become so used to. I used to be a control freak and look behind. I never do it anymore, standard. The automatic emergency braking is also standard. The power lift gate is standard. And then the class three 5,000 pound trailer tow, everybody gets it, oh, wow. just in case you need it. Because yeah. that's what our customers say. They wanna be ready for anything. Yeah. Um, and the interior, uh, now this is a pre-production, so it's not as cool as the amazing interior you saw there, but the heated seats, which I literally make my choice on vehicles if it has heated seat or not, because I'm not interested. I live in both Chicago and Detroit and I need it. That is standard. The digital cluster you saw over there, every vehicle will get that. And then the large, huge 13.2, bigger, better, better screen is gonna be standard for everybody. We're not gonna have two screens. What we did also do is, you know, the Explorer, when, when our designers were looking at this version, of course, they kept using the imagery around strength, athleticism, power, but refined power, right? That, they kept that theme. We did change the grills. Every single configuration gets its own upper and lower grill, so the front end is is redone, and then in the rear, if you guys can come around here, um, we're hearing from JD Power, they really like, and I do too, how the tail lamp is spilling into the lift gate, right? So we call it the light bar applique, right? And it's just, it's not too much. Some of them are too much, right? Um, and so for us, this is really cool to be driving behind this thing. Um, I think we have maybe Taylor or Andrew yeah. coming this way, we're gonna talk about the ST in yeah. particular, because I think there's a lot of interest in this particular product. I know, I heard we have, trying to get them we have Yeah, that flight is pretty. Oh, we have multiple, okay, we have perfect. multiple. Um, so I'm Taylor Hodak. You guys can be anywhere, so we're talking about the whole vehicle. In the 25 model year, we kept what customers love. Um, the Explorer ST remains the fastest, most powerful Explorer that we've ever had, reaching speeds up to 143 miles per hour. Under the hood, you'll find a 3-liter EcoBoost engine that produces 400 horsepower and 415 foot-pounds of torque. Sport-tuned suspension and high-performance brakes also. On the inside, you'll find that black interior, um, Miko suede seats. This, this is a pre-production unit, as Kelly mentioned, but um, 
it, it has red accent stitching and a standard heated sport style steering wheel. I don't know if you saw it when she opened the door, but we do have puddle lamps on this vehicle, which I always find very, very cool. Um, new in the 25 model year, customers have the option to upgrade to a bl uh, black painted roof. And also these 21 inch magnetite painted aluminum wheels, they come standard. Say that five times fast. Yeah. <laughs> I know. We know that Explorer customers are itching to get off-road. And so we are working on the most capable off-road Explorer ever. And we are so excited to share more with you later this year. Content so caption. we're getting an Explorer trimmer? Uh, um, it's time for them to go to the next day. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, short trip but so much info packed in. So far we have seen the brand new 2025 Explorer. They've explained the interior changes, just the different finishes throughout. I'm telling you, they took that 2020 that they built you know, four years ago now and built upon it like crazy. Everything that we have had like concerns about, like the infotainment system, it has all been addressed. This new Explorer is going to be the best Explorer that has ever came out thus far. And I cannot thank friends of Ford, Ford Motor Company enough. This is absolutely insane that we are here. Take a look up there, we got Big Stu. Hey. So now we're on our way downstairs of Ford World Headquarters and we're gonna take a peek at an ST line that they have set up for us and we'll get the good interior shots, the exterior shots. Keep on going, it's exciting. Watch the Oh my god. Headquarters here, and what they had waiting for us was this entire studio and a 2025 Explorer uh, in rapid red just sitting here waiting for us to do our little walk around. So, I'm going to start from the very beginning from the front of it, and we're going to make our way towards the sides. And I just want to call out and talk about things that are different um, on this Explorer than they are on the one that I currently. And we can start right up front here. Let's start with the fog light. This is, uh, this is a completely different redesign from what we have currently. Like on, on my Explorer, it's more of that long looking fog light. But one thing that I noticed is that there's still an air vent going right from the fog light off to the side. And that air gets shot from here into here. Um, I don't know if it's like a brake cooler or if it's just cooling off the rotors or whatever, but it is, it is functional. Um, the grill, you can see like on the 2020, like the one that, that I drive, the mesh grill is a little bit tighter and so it's a little bit closer and this one's more wide open and that's going to excite me because like the aftermarket parts and stuff that you can throw at these things is going to be absolutely fantastic. I love how wide open the grill is on this one. Still remain with the Explorer across the hood, kind of iconic for Explorers. Uh, this is actually an ST line. This is a 25 ST line, but a lot of the things that are standard on this thing are going to be standard on your uh, typical ST as well. And as we just walk around, these are going to be the standard wheels. Um, on the Explore ST, and I believe ST lines, anybody can correct me if I'm wrong, um, but these are a totally different wheel option than what's on the market right now. And also when you're looking at this thing, you'll notice this one already has a black roof. There's a lot of people that buy these Explorers that do that aftermarket because it does look really, really well. So this is actually an option straight from Ford now that you can get this roof black, and I think that is fantastic. They left the pillar alone over here, which I really like because there's not like a, to me, there's not a body line that kind of stops right here. There's not like a solid line where you could end the wrap. So I like how they left this pillar alone and just wrapped the roof. And as we move into this thing, I'm just gonna, let's be honest. There was a few gripes on the 2020 Plus Explorers. The 2020 was a ground up refresh. Back to rear wheel drive bias, the motor sitting under the hood the right way. They took a lot of those things from the ground up and on these 25 models have fixed Anything that you could possibly not want on your old Explorer, completely fixed. The infotainment system, absolutely redesigned from the ground up from Ford. And actually, I believe from what we were told upstairs, uh, this actually, you can use like your Google, your Google Play. You can use Hey Google. Um, you can download apps. 
Take a look at the interior, just of this thing. Really nice, really comfy. And then, if you're looking, the B&O, they stuck with the B&O sound system, but everything, all the finishes, all the textures that you feel and that you see and that you touch are no longer like that plasticky feeling that you, you would get uh, with your last model of Explore. They have wrapped everything in really nice textures. The red stitching. Like I said, this is actually a 10 speaker B&O system here in the ST line. For an ST line, this thing's crazy nice. Really, really, really nice. So just right off the bat, look, this is different. All this. This is actually a wireless charging pad, which used to be sitting right here, but it was actually a little bit small for like your newer phones nowadays. Um, so now they've moved this up here. This is a, gonna be a very functional area because a lot of times for me, I'm setting my phone like in this cup holder right here. I'm setting it up in here somewhere, um, but it's gonna be really nice just to be able to use wireless CarPlay one and to be able to set your phone right there and have it charging. Because wireless, char wireless CarPlay is really nice, but it does drain the battery. So being able to charge it right there while wireless CarPlay is going on, perfect. This screen right here is going to be standard across your Explore STs as well. There's no longer gonna be the options for your bigger screen or smaller screen. This, I believe it's a 13 point, 13 point something inch screen right here, but it's gonna be insane functional. You're gonna have different profiles. You, your key fob, whenever you get into this vehicle, it's gonna remember your specific profile. Um, or you can just go in here and switch it. You can download YouTube, you can watch things while you're parked on this screen, and, and with our older Explore screens, you couldn't do that. So that is gonna be insane nice. You can move the whole navigation from this screen to right in front of you on this screen, which is going to be fantastic. I wanna show you, maybe the back seat area just a little bit, nice interior. And then moving along like with the refresh, the tail lights. Um, they kept the tail light moving alongside like the back of the car like this, wrapping all the way around, but it actually extends out further over here. And that looks fantastic. I really, really, really like the look of the tailgate. Of course, Explorers, people tow with these things. You have your family in there, you're going on trips, you're going to tow with it. Towing, standard. Lift gate. Got your normal everyday um, lift gate, except there is one thing that Ford has completely gone away with, and that is the um, the thing that you can do with your foot down there, where you can wave your foot underneath there, and that it will open up. So um, that's complete. That's they've done away with that. The things that they have refreshed on this new Explorer model are going to be game changing. Blue Cruise, that is that's a brand that's brand new for Explorer. In fact, I think the, uh, they had actually told us that like this operating system in here uses one chip to operate both screens, and it's like five times faster, more powerful than than what the last Explorer model had. I just want to make sure and say thank you, friends of Ford. We appreciate you so much. Thank you, Ford. Thank you, Stuart Webb over here, the Excalibur on Instagram, because that guy. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Stu. Again, thank you, Stu. Thank you, friends of Ford. Thank you, Ford Motor Company. Me and Brad Pack Media would have never dreamed that we'd be here in Detroit, Michigan, um, just because we decided to pick up a camera and I was in love with Ford Explorers. But here we are, and we appreciate it. Thank you, Ford, so much. We're out.